Aloha everybody, Kaiwaza with you. Welcome back to my channel and it's time for another candle video. This time uh, my candle empties for the month of December 2020 that just passed. So these are the candles and, and <clears throat> melts and whatnot that I have burnt during the month of December. Um, seems like as much as I felt like I was burning a lot, even during the day sometimes, that uh, I don't seem to have all that much, but I don't know. That's just how it goes. Let's check it out. Uh, I did first the melts. I did do a tart, Yankee Candle tart. This was quite old. I got it on sale at Bed Bath & Beyond before they went out of business here. <laughs> um, balsam and cedar. Um, it was old, but older. Um, I couldn't really smell it as a tart. I didn't, I couldn't smell anything. Um, I went through two of these that I got at Goodwill a while ago. These are Langley Home, uh, in the sense cinnamon and sugar cookie. And these were clamshell wax melts. I think they may have been old. I don't really know, but they appear to maybe be older. Um, sugar cookie, couldn't smell it at all. And cinnamon was very light. It was there, um, but it was a very light scent. So I don't know, Langley Home, I wouldn't, if I see them again, maybe I would try it new if it's somewhere I see them new. I don't know, even know where they sell them, but um, yeah. But you know, they were from Goodwill, so they may have been really old. Uh, on the other hand, this uh, Better Homes and Gardens in the Fireside Flurries was amazing. This was like the first couple of cubes I melt, I swear, and I'm not even joking, they lasted for like four days and nights. Like I left it on all the time and they just, they were constantly emitting fragrance. And it seemed a little bit less with the other ones, but still, I mean, they were, you know, for a couple of days, very strong. And it's a very, very nice scent too. It's kind of a combination scent of like a, a bit of pine and there's also a sweetness almost like a cookie sweetness to it such a nice scent yeah i would definitely pick warm a fireside flurries i would definitely pick more of this up if i see it again somewhere these were at walmart now to the well this is a small candle but onto the regular candles this was in a box of candles that a friend of mine sent me cranberry woods it's a bath and body works candle and I burnt it primarily prim primarily behind this manger scene here where there's a little bit of like a false uh, glass stained glass really pretty um, this is a 2000 pour am I right yeah I'm trying to use these pour date things because I forget how to do it if I don't do it all the time this one was I couldn't smell it that much um, you know I mean it is a small candle I've had some small candles from Bath and Body Works that were super intense but this was not super intense it's just it's a nice cranberry and a woodsy scent cranberry woods hence the name right um, but yeah it smells really nice and fresh smelling it but it didn't really throw that much perhaps just a little bit so but it was a nice light for the little a little crash manger scene during the holidays. In case you're wondering, I still have all my holiday stuff up because I am sort of a, I don't know, traditionalist or whatever, oddly, in the sense that, um, you know, I like to leave things up through Epiphany or up through um, Kings, Three Kings Day, January 6th, 7th, really. Um, the 12 days of Christmas and then King's Day. So as part of my uh, usual um, Christmas tradition, I've gotten one of these ornamental candles that's quite old and has never been burned. It has been brought out year after year to be decorated and I picked it up at a thrift store. So this year I'm gonna burn this one. It's Christmas Eve day. So I'm gonna burn this tonight. Take it out of its plastic because it's in the original plastic. It's a Hallmark candle. We're gonna burn it all the way down and set the little candle spirit free after God knows how many years. And sure enough, we burnt him all the way down and set his little snowman candle spirit free.
Um, also in the box of candles that my friend sent were a couple of red velvet tapers that really melted like crazy. I mean, they were insane, the amount of dripping and the amount of, uh, you know, residue that they left on my little Italian wine bottles was fantastic. Now, regular size candles here. I burnt, I got this one uh, last year at the store. It is a, um, 2019 burn. Maybe I got it the year before. I don't know. It is Santa's Workshop, uh, sugared snickerdoodle and those really cute, um, whatever they call this, but this packaging is really cute. And with the little snow lid. Now, it says warm spices, creamy vanilla, sugared musk with essential oils. I think that's a pretty accurate description. I mean, it does, I love snickerdoodle cookies. I haven't had any in a long time, but I love them. And um, this definitely smells like snickerdoodles. You, you get that cookie scent, that vanilla, that cinnamon spice on top cinnamon and sugar and it's very pretty i did uh performance was okay i did have to uh pour out some wax a couple of times because the wicks got kind of puny but it did continue to throw okay i would say it was like a six like it was it was present all the time good candle i would get it again i mean it usually comes back right Buenos dias. Won't you join me on moody mood music as I dance and spin and do the tarantella for you. You will enjoy the music of my land and many lands and your land in lush orchestral arrangements. Won't you meet me for tapas? On Moody Mood Music, live, 365.com. You'll find the link in the description below. Well, now these two kind of related scents. Uh, one is tried and true, the Twisted Peppermint. I love this scent. I always want to burn this scent every holiday season. It's not the holidays without it. Uh, cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, fresh balsam, hint of musk, and essential oils. I mean, I don't know. This is just, to me, the ultimate, you know, peppermint candle. It's just so intense. If you've never had it, usually it's quite an intense candle. I mean, on a throw, it can be like a nine, you know? It can just... a ten. I mean, it can... It can this one and Fresh Balsam, I think, tend to be really strong candles and they can sometimes even just leave the apartment and throw the scent to passers-by out on the sidewalk, you know? Like, what is that smell? Mmm, it's so good and it's very intense. I know it's not for everybody. If you don't like strong candles, if you don't like an intense peppermint that you can kind of feel in your nose, um, you're not going to like this, but I really love this candle and I do, as I said, burn it every year. This was a nice addition of it. Uh, it is a 2000 pour. Very happy. Good, decent little bit of residue there, but decent performance on this one. No problem with the wicks. Something new this year. I think it was new this year. I don't ever remember it being around and I think I would have be just because this is exactly the kind of candle I would love to be burning during the holiday season. I mean, I suppose any time, but uh, peppermint sugar cookie. I did have to wait for this one. We didn't have it in our store when it first came out. We didn't have it for quite a while. And then one day when I went in uh, for something, it uh, magically appeared. Um, there it was. So I did get two and I burnt one, this one right here. It is a 2000, not two, have I been saying a 2000 pour all this time? 2020. 2020 pour. 
have I, I think I've been saying 2000. This is a 20 year old candle that just appeared on the shelf this year. Um, crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, soft sugar cookies with essential oils. I mean, the description enough. Mm, it's just wonderful. This is nice, you know, it is that you do definitely, for me, like you get the peppermint scent, although it's not crazy in your face like twisted peppermint, but you definitely get a peppermint and you definitely get a sugar cookie, right? So in a way, it's kind of as if you put, I just now thought of this, it's sort of, if like you put these two candles together, because <laughs> this is snickerdoodle sugar cookie, this is Twisted Peppermint. If you put them together, they have this little baby uh, peppermint sugar cookie. Not as intense on the peppermint, and uh, but definitely present with the uh, sugar cookie element. And now, I, I don't... No spices, right? I mean, there's no, like... Snickerdoodle has the... Mm -mm 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 cinnamon on it, and this would not. But wow, this is super nice. It's a good thing I'm not aware of any places that sell peppermint sugar cookies in my area at Christmas time because that would be very hard to not buy. I'm diabetic, so I'm you know trying not to eat that stuff. I could have one if I went out for coffee, like one, you know. But me, I'd want to buy like a dozen and bring them home and I would eat them all, uh, you know, in one night, like not even kidding. I would just, these are delicious and I would watch binge watch Bridgerton and like shove peppermint sugar cookies into my mouth and then I'd fall asleep and have a diabetic coma. So I enjoy it in candle form instead. So much better for my health. <laughs> I like that one. It was, the throw was good too. It was probably like six, seven. You know, I would have liked to, for it to have been a little bit stronger. I would love if it had been up in that eight or nine category. I'd have been really happy because I like it. It wasn't, so there you go. Now, the last candle I burnt this December was, of course, pine. I mean, I have to have something evergreen, balsam, blah, 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 whatever, something like that. So this was a uh, whole series of um, metallic jars from Village Candle that started appearing magically at like TJ Maxx and Ross here. And every time I would go to different stores and every time I would see one, I would pick one up. So I've ended up with about like seven of them. Some of them are holiday, fall. Um, one of them is lavender something, so that'll be coming up. But this one was Northern Pine. It's very beautiful, it's two wick, two wick, right? Yeah, two wick candle. And they're very beautiful when they burn because the, you do get the green shining through. Now, I did melt some other things. It's a green wax, but I melted some other things in here when it was down near the end. I put it on the warmer and then I threw some other stuff too I was trying to use up in there. So it was kind of a little Frankenstein thing going on. Northern uh, pine is the scent. Now this is, I'm not the one to ask to distinguish between all these different pine scents because they all sound, are sort of similar to me. Um, but definitely beautiful, fresh pine scent. Um, not as strong as I would have liked it to be. You know, I have to compare everything to fresh balsam from Bath and Body Works because that's super strong. So this is nothing, nowhere near that. So you might actually like this if you don't like super strong candles. I would say it was a five. Like I could smell it when I was around it. Um, occasionally it would be in the room a little bit, but not super heavy. It wasn't like you had a Christmas tree there in the room. It wasn't that strong. Um, but it was okay. So it was slightly, to me, slightly disappointing. Yeah. That's it for this month of December. Let me know if you had any of these or your experiences, and I'm enjoying watching your videos. Check out the radio stations if you want to. The link will be below, and subscribe if you want, and we'll see you in the next video.